Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Matt, and today we're going to be removing some battery acid from some of our electronic devices. Hey, before we get into this video, I want to say thanks for watching, alright? Uh, if you like the video at any time, make sure you like, you share, and you subscribe. Today we're going to be focusing on getting rid of the battery acid inside uh, specifically a couple of my flashes that I left the batteries in. So normally I use, I have one flash in my camera bag, but I have the other two that I left the, some batteries in and, the, and the, the battery started to leak over time. And this can happen to any battery. Just I have used different style batteries or different brand batteries. It doesn't matter which brand you use. If you leave them in any device, there is a potential that it can leak, just like it did in these ones. And I have a couple different ones here that um, that are different brands, but but they leaked. So before we start, just think of safety, 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 safety. You're gonna need some sort of uh, uh, mat to do this or on top of, all right, because the battery acid may fall out. You're gonna need a rag, you're gonna need some uh, some sort of gloves or some hand protection. Uh, if it's really bad and there's a lot of dust, you may even want a respirator, you may even want um, goggles or some sort of eye protection, but mine weren't that bad, so I just used the rubber glove and, uh, and this little uh, cool um, cutting mat. Just make sure before you do anything, always think of safety. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use a couple household items that every household usually has. I'm gonna use some vinegar, I'm gonna use some baking soda, some little cotton swabs, um, and maybe some toothpicks. And this little concoction I'm gonna make is multi-purpose vinegar. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here. You can see that. I have a generous amount, all right? I only have a few products that I'm gonna be um, cleaning. I'm gonna use a little bit of baking soda, but I'm gonna try and use a round teaspoon. And you can see when you put the baking soda in the vinegar, it uh, um, starts to bubble up, okay? Because of the chemical reaction. Um, it's not toxic or anything, but it's uh, smart not to use a whole lot of baking soda in the vinegar or it's going to go everywhere. Um, I'm going to use a rubber glove as well because these batteries have acid on them. So you don't want to get that on your hand, you don't want to get it on your materials. I have this uh, strong rubber pad which I can clean up super easily. Um, but I wouldn't recommend doing it on your dining room table or um, any thing that, that could get damaged from the, from the acid from the batteries. So basically I just let the baking soda, um, I guess fizz out, fizz, fizzle out, whatever, um, to, to react with the, um, with the vinegar. I'm going to take some cotton swabs and maybe use some toothpicks to get at those uh, tough areas. All right, so I'm gonna use a a rubber glove and this one's not so bad there's only a little bit on the negative terminal and one thing I did notice is that most of the batteries leaked from the negative terminal and not the positive one but they can leak from either side but this one here I have just a little battery acid here which I'm gonna take my my cotton swab put it in here and then just dab it on there and you can see it fizz up like that that means it's actually working I am going to put it on here and leave it for 20 minutes and continue with the rest of the devices so I'm going to put that there set it to the side This one also is on a negative terminal. So I'm just going to dab it in here. 
and let it sit. And this one is the bad, really bad one. So you can see in here all of this acid all in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape this out with this cotton swab. You can see all this junk on this cotton swab now. And you can see it's turning blue from the chemical reaction um, from the battery acid uh, and the vinegar combination. But I'm going to get some more vinegar. I'm going to put it in here and clean up the walls of it. And luckily it's only one terminal. That's pretty bad. But there is some residue all over these other ones and underneath these so i want to get all that gunk out of there okay that's pretty good um there is one terminal here that's pretty bad too so get another dip of this vinegar put it on here and let it sit let that react a bit okay so we're back from after letting these sit for 10 uh, to 20 minutes um, I do want to say thank you uh, Megan and dad for the coffee I really appreciate it it's still uh, going strong it's delicious uh, Thanks a lot. All right, now let's check on these. Okay, so we can see this one sat for a good 10 to uh, 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to take a new cotton cloth and clean it off a little bit. And, and actually, it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of discoloration, if you can see this, from the reaction, I believe. There's like a little copper look. So I'm just going to dry that off. I'm going to throw some batteries in it and test it up a little bit. Positive up. Negative up. Turn it on. It fires right up. So uh, this is good. It, it did work before. It just had a little bit of uh, that battery acid on it. But now it is clean and good to go. And I'm not going to store this with batteries in again. So let's move on to this second flash that we have. And you can see here that there still is some... Um, well, the battery acid is gone. But it does look like it rusted this negative terminal a little bit. Cool. Let's uh, completely dry this off with the rag, which is just an old t-shirt of mine. So let's dry, and we're going to test this out. Let's 
So it does start right up and it works perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna turn this back off and I'm gonna store it without the batteries. Now this one was the really bad one, but honestly, it looks like it is pretty good. This terminal looks perfect from before, okay? So it's completely dry. The inside is, is completely clean as well. So we're gonna test it out real quick. I did not test it out when, uh, when I noticed how bad it was because I didn't know what would happen. But I'm pretty confident that it's gonna work now. And it does. It starts right up. Perfect. Sweet. So I'm gonna store this without the battery in it. Okay, so that was a quick and easy way of how to get rid of the built-up battery acid in your electronic devices. Um, it worked really well for mine because they weren't that bad. It may not work for all yours, but uh, it's worth a shot before you uh, throw your stuff away. So I hope that video was helpful to you and um, it'll help you uh, increase the lifespan of your devices. Yeah, so thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Take it easy. I'll see you later.